Welcome to today's eagerly awaited Roots Magic webinar. My name is Michael Booth. I am Vice President of Roots Magic and one of its developers. And also with us this afternoon is the Roots magician himself, Bruce Busby. And Bruce, of course, is the President of Roots Magic and its author. Roots Magic 5 is the latest version of our award-winning software which makes family history easy. And one of version 5's new features is media tagging that allows you to easily tag your media with people, families, sources, or places. And today, we'll take a look at this new feature and learn how it can make adding pictures and documents to your family history even faster and easier. And with that introduction, I'll turn the time over to Bruce. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so today's uh, webinar is titled media tagging in Roots Magic 5. So since we're trying to keep our webinars a little bit shorter, we've been asked uh, by our users to kind of kind of focus on individual features. What we're going to do is we're going to talk specifically about tagging pictures. So I'm not going to go into uh, full detail on all the different kinds of things that you can do in images uh, because we could spend hours doing that. But what we're going to talk about is a new feature in Roots Magic 5 called tagging, uh, which allows you to easily uh, add images to multiple media albums all at the same time. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started on that. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into William right here, and I'm going to open up his edit screen. Now, let's say I happen to have a picture of the home where he was born. Now there's a couple of ways that I can add that picture. I can either come up to the media album, just right here, the general media album button, and if I click on that, I can add that picture. The other way I can do that, do it, is to click in the little media column next to the fact that I want to add the picture to. Okay, so if I wanted to add it just to him generally, I would click the little picture, uh, the little camera box right here. If I wanted to add it to his birth, I would add it right here. Now, you'll notice that when I click on this right here, let's say I'm going to add this picture to his birth. I click right there, and you'll notice this actually looks the same as, the, as clicking the general media, except that right here it tells me that I am adding it to his birth. Now, if I look at this, I can actually go and do all media. I can say general media, and I can pick individual facts. I can pick families. I can pick marriage. So whatever I want to actually attach this picture to, I can select from right there. Now, I could also do this by clicking the general media button. When I click that general media button, that's going to actually show me all the pictures I have attached to William. And that's whether they're attached to him generally, whether they're attached to his birth, his death, his burial, uh, one of his families, any of those places that have an image attached to, Roots Magic will display those pictures right here. Now, if I come into this general media album and I start adding new pictures, they're going to be added to him generally because that's what I had done. I had clicked on just the general media button. On the other hand, if I wanted to add media to his birth, I'd come down here and select birth, and then if I add new media, it's going to add that picture to his birth event. Okay, uh, hopefully that's not confusing. It's, it's two different ways to add pictures to an event. One is to go in just to the general media album and select his birth. The other one is just to select the camera box right here next to his birth in the first place. And that just basically selects his general media album with birth already selected. Okay, so let the, the first thing I want to do is I want to add a picture. I've got a picture out there. I'm going to click Add New Media. And Roots Magic is going to ask, what kind of media am I adding? And you have several options. You can add an image, and that's probably what we are going to add most of the time. I can also add sound clips or video clips. So if I've taken video with, a, with my digital camera, or if I have one of those little sound recorders, I can actually add those sound or video clips to this media album as well. The last item is file. And what file lets you do 
is add any kind of file that is not necessarily a picture, a sound clip, or a video clip. So this lets you actually do things like add a Word document, or an Excel spreadsheet, or a PDF file. Things that Roots Magic can't necessarily print, but it gives you a place to organize other documents that you have for this person. So if I happen to have transcribed a census record using a spreadsheet, I can go actually select that spreadsheet file, and that spreadsheet file is now part of his media album, and then double clicking on that in his media album will open that spreadsheet up in whichever program it happens to have been created with. In this case, I want to add an image. That's what we're going to concentrate. Now, if I have not scanned the picture yet and I have a scanner attached to my computer, I can select the scanner. And you might actually think I only have one scanner, but sometimes when you select this, you'll see things like your camera and, and other, uh, other devices. So you want to make sure that you've actually got it selecting your scanner. And then you can click on Scan, and that is going to run your scanner software to actually scan the image directly into Roots Magic. But in this case, I actually have the picture I want right on my hard drive, so I'm going to select Disk. Now, this is going to be the picture I want, the, the William Knudsen birth home. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. As I select the different images, you can see I get a, a preview over here, so I can see it in a little bit better detail. But this is the one I want. I'm going to say open, and Roots Magic is going to open this image and allow me to enter whatever information I want. So I go ahead and say, this is the William Knudsen birth home. And then I can enter whatever kind of a description I want. I can enter a date. This might be the date that I added the picture to the Roots Magic. It might be the date the picture was taken. It's for whatever you want to be able to use it for. Uh, reference number is if you have your own filing system. Uh, let's say you have the, the originals of these pictures stored in your file cabinet. This reference number can refer to where that is. Now, it doesn't have to be a number. It can actually be a location. Um, green file cabinet, middle drawer, uh, purple folder, whatever. It can be whatever you want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish and click OK. And Roots Magic has added that picture to his album. And you'll notice that since I had birth selected here, it has actually shown me right here that it's actually added it to his birth. Now, this is the part of the program that we're talking about. This is the tagging. Okay, In the past with Roots Magic and other programs, when you've added a picture to a person, if you wanted to add that picture to other people as well, you had to close down this media album. You had to go into that other person's edit screen, into their media album, and you had to then say, I want to add a picture, and you'd have to select that existing picture and add it to that next person. If you had a family picture with 15 people in it, you had to go into 15 different media albums one at a time and add that picture to each of those media albums. Okay. By doing that, it made it easy to forget to actually uh, include it in somebody's album. You know, you're going through the 15 people, and it made it easy to accidentally skip one of those people. Well, in Roots Magic, what we can do is we can tag this picture with all the people, places, or whatever that are in that picture right from this one place. So if I want to look at this a little bit bigger, uh, this picture a little bigger. I can come down here and use this scroll, and I can scroll it up a little bit bigger. Now, it's it's going to be a fairly low resolution image right here. It's using the thumbnail. Uh, if you want to see it in full detail, what you will do is you'll highlight that image, and then come up here and say view or edit that, and then that will show it to you in the full resolution of the image, and you can actually zoom in or out from there as well. Okay, now. Let's say in this picture that that's, um, this is William Knudsen's birthplace. Okay, that's William right there, that little guy right there. So if I actually go in here and view and edit that, if I zoom in, I can come down here, and there's William. That's William right there. And that's William's mom. So I want to actually add William's mom to this. Well, instead of going out to her mom, to, or to his mom, 
And going into her media album and doing that, I just select this image from his media album, and I say tag it. I want to add another tag. And I'm going to tag it with a person. It's already tagged with him. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to pick her information, and her name was Annalie Hahn's daughter. And I'm going to select his mom. And I can actually add a comment right here um, that basically tells about her. This is Anna Lee and William standing in front of their home. You know, so I can go into whatever detail I want. I can also choose whether this is the primary photo for this person. Okay, the primary photo is going to be the picture that Roots Magic shows on the main screen when you highlight somebody or the one that's going to print in the books or the family group sheet. You can add as many pictures to each person as you want, but one of those needs to be selected as the primary photo so Roots Magic knows which one to show in those places where it only has room for one. And the second option is whether or not you want this picture to be included in scrapbooks. So if you go in and print a scrapbook for that person, do you want this particular picture to be included in that? So I'm happy with what I have here. I'm going to click OK. And now William and Anna Lee are both tagged in this picture. Now you notice for Anna Lee it doesn't have an event. So it's just tagged uh, to her generally. Whereas for William, it's tagged to his birth. So I'm going to go ahead and close this for a second. And you're going to see right here there's a check mark next to his birth. And that, and that actually tells me that I have at least one picture related to his birth. Okay, I'm going to hop out of here. I'm going to go into Anna Lee. Okay, now you notice when I select Anna Lee, there's that picture. Even though I never went into her media album, that picture's there because I had tagged her in it and said I, that I wanted that to be the primary picture for her. So I'm going to go into here. When I click on media, there's the picture right there. And again, it's showing that this picture has been tagged with William and Anna Lee. Okay, now let's say I happen to know where this house is. So I can do this, again, I can do this from her media album just as easily as I did it from Williams. Anytime I'm in a media album looking at a picture, I can tag anything else with that. So I'm going to go back in, I'm going to tag media, and this time I can say I want to tag a place. And once I've done that, I select what place it was, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to say that it was Odense, Denmark. I can select that. Okay, now that's great if that's the only picture I have in Odense. But let's say I have a bunch of family in Odense, and I don't want my Odense place to have a zillion pictures attached to it. Well, I can also choose to attach it to place details. Okay, now, I, obviously I will have already needed to have a place detail at the time, but once I've done this, it's keeping the same place, so I can say, okay, I actually have a place detail, the Knudsen Homestead, which I used for William's birth. I click OK, and I now have this tagged to that place detail. So when I do that, I now have, this picture has now been tagged with William, with Anna Lee, his mom, and with the actual place detail, the Knudsen Homestead in Odense, Denmark. Okay, now I can actually come out of here. I'm going to come out of here, and I will now see there's, there's her uh, media item. It shows that there's a check mark, and I can click that to go in there. But I'm going to go back into William again, and I am going to select his birth. Okay, and there's his birth. When I select his birth, you can see it was in Odense, like I, like I said, and I had actually entered the Knudsen Homestead as the place details. So if I go in to look at these place details, there it is right there, and if I go ahead and edit that and look at the place details media, there's that picture. Okay, so in other words, I don't have to go into my place list or my place details list to actually add a picture to that pl a particular place or place details, I can actually just go right in and, and add it from any, any place I'm at. 
The, play, the reason that that is especially nice is if I have a family picture, so if I come in and I've got a family picture right here, if that family picture has those 15 people, like I mentioned before, instead of having to go in and out and in and out of individuals' media albums and hoping I don't accidentally skip over one, I can actually just look at the image and go in and tag it right there. Now, I can also do that when I, when I select this. If I go into the properties, okay, this is a place where I can actually, I can actually look at the picture larger sized and really zoom in and out, and I can tag it from here as well. Okay, so I can tag it either from the little list of all the pictures I have, and I can do that in the thumbnail mode or in the list mode, either way. Okay, and I can, from the little, from the little thumbnails, I can do that, or I can go into the properties for that picture as a whole and actually go in and add that. Now let's go ahead and add another picture. So I'm going to show you another example where this tagging really comes in handy. Okay, I'm going to go into my lists, and I'm going to go into my source list. Okay, and I happen to have a source down here, U.S. Census. And this is a particular Box Elder County, Brigham City, U.S. Census. And, you know, I've, I've cited this source in, in certain places. So I have this source I've entered, and I'm going to go into media. And let's say I have an image of that media. Okay, so I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to say add new media again. And it's going to be an image, and I'm going to go out to the disk to get it again. And here's, here's the image I want. I'm going to select that. And I can go in here and I can say, this is the uh, 1860 U.S. Census uh, Brigham City Box Elder, Utah. And I can put whatever description I want in there as well, just, just like I did before. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now, for this source, I now have the scanned image of this source. And you can see... I actually have it tagged. It's showing that it's tagged to this source. Okay, here's where this gets really cool. I am going to go ahead and go into the properties, and I'm going to zoom in so I can see this a little bit better. Okay, and let's zoom out just a little bit. If I if I didn't have to be at this low resolution to do uh, this webinar, this screen can actually be a lot bigger. You can, you know, you can click on the little maximize button and blow this up, and you can make this this nice and visible. Okay, here is my William Knudsen. Okay, so William is in this. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say tag the media person. I'm going to come in here, Knudsen, and I'm going to pick William Knudsen. That's the one I want right there. Select, enter a comment, and the comment might be. Uh, if I had scrolled over here, it would say his occupation was a farmer. The census record says he was a farmer. So I can put whatever I want. This isn't going to be a primary photo, but maybe I do want to include it in the scrapbook for this person. That's my decision. Click OK. And so I've now added him. OK, well, here's, here's the wife, Amelia. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and tag her. And I'm going to go ahead and select her and, or, or not Amelia, Annalie. I'm going to go ahead and select her. And actually it says Amelia. Uh, I just typed the wrong name in this sample database. So uh, normally, normally you would want this to actually match, to match this. Okay, so now we also have a Charles Knudsen. So let's go see. We've got Charles. Let's go ahead and tag. And we want, there's Charles right there. And of course, you'll want to look at the details, make sure these really are the right people. Okay, there's Joseph. Okay, there's a son, Joseph. We're going to go ahead and add him. There's Joseph. Okay, there's Peter. We're going to tag Peter. Okay, and there's little William, little, little William Jr. 
So we're going to go ahead and add him. Okay, so that's all we have. That's all we have. So we've now tagged not just the source, but we've tagged the people that are in the source. Now I could also just as easily gone in here and said family and selected the family right here, the, the William Knudsen family. Okay, I could have just selected it, uh, selected it from here. Okay, actually there it is. It's Amelia Jones. So I actually tagged the wrong one. So this will actually give give me a chance to show you how I can take her, delete that tag. I'm going to remove that tag, and I'm going to go in and select the right one. Okay, so that's all there is to actually if you put the wrong tag in, just delete the tag and go get the right one. So now the, now the correct one is in there. Okay, so I'm going to hop out of here, and I'm going to hop out of the source as well. So I've been doing this from the source media album, this whole thing I've been doing from the source media album. So I'm going to hop out of here now. And if I go into William, if I double click on William, okay, and go into his media, there's that picture we'd added, but there's the census that he is tagged in. Okay, I didn't go into his screen. I didn't have to worry about any of that. The thing that's really nice about this is if you look at this family, you'll see that in the children you had Charles, Joseph, Peter, William. Okay, but there's also Sarah and John. Okay, they weren't in that census. And so we don't have to worry about accidentally going into theirs and doing it because we are actually tagging the people that were in that census record right from the census record. We weren't having to try to remember which people uh, were listed in that census. Okay, so last thing I'm going to do is on this is I'm going to go back into William, and I'm going to go back into his media album, and there's that census record. Now, you'll notice that that census right there was in Box Elder Brigham City. So I'm going to go up, and while I'm here, and again, I can do it from his album just as easily as I could do it from the source album. I'm going to tag the media, and I'm going to tag a place. And the place I'm going to tag is going to be Brigham City. And I can enter whatever comment I want. Okay, so I have now tagged the source. I've tagged the people in the source. I could tag the family in the source if I wanted to. And I've tagged the actual place for that source. So if I come back out of here and go into my master place list, okay, and go into Brigham City, when I look at Brigham City, you're going to see right there, there's a census record because I, I happen to actually set it as the primary for, for this particular place, which, I, you know, I may not want to do. And I can go look at place media. And if, if as I find other records, I will actually be able to go into my place and see all, all of the documents that I have from that place. So I can actually have a source, a census record, tag it with the source so it shows up with the source, tag it with the people so it shows up with each person. I could tag it with, with the event, not just the person, but I could actually tag it with the event. Okay, so I could go in, for example, and I could come into William, and you'll notice that I have that his occupation is a farmer in 1860. Well, the reason I know that is because that particular source said so. So I could either add that source or I could go into the media for the occupation. Okay, I can add new media if I want to, or I can say add it from a gallery, and I can pick that same source right there and select it. And so now, now not only not only is it is it selected for him, but it's also selected. You now, I must have forgot, missed something. Yeah, let me just go into his media album. I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to say tag with. Um, with an event, and then the event I'm going to tag it with is that occupation. Okay, so there it is. It's now tagged with the census. It's tagged with the people in the census. It's tagged with information that I got from people in that census. So if I went in here, you know, and I zoomed in right here, and go back up to William. There's William. I don't need it to be quite that big, I guess. 
So there's William. So as I scroll across, you'll see right here it tells you that he's a farmer. So I can actually use it as a, you know, and it tells me that he was born in Denmark, so I can use it as a, as the image with his birth as well. So um, you're able to easily, instead of having to go in and out over and over to individual me uh, media albums, you can just, from that media album, uh, from that picture in whatever media album, whether it's a specific one like a person's media album, a place media album, a source media album, or whether it is from the master media gallery, which is going to be all the pictures in your entire file. This is where you can look at every picture that you've actually uh, added to your database and click and see everything. So if you're if you're wanting to make sure that you've covered everything, instead of going in and out of all of these, I could go into my media album here and uh, select the ones I want and make sure everything that I want to be tagged has been tagged in here. If I want to filter this list to make it a little shorter, let's say I only want to show the census records. I'm just going to type census. And it's going to filter my thumbnails or my list, whichever way, it's going to filter it based on the, the file name or the caption. So I can filter those down so I'm only working with those with those specific uh, media items. So hopefully, hopefully what you've seen is that this new media linking feature uh, allows you to much more quickly and much more easily um, uh, tag uh, tag different media, uh, pick things in the media album. Uh, it lets you, it lets you actually uh, not have to go in and out to to do this over and over. So, uh, so let's go ahead and take a few questions here. Are there any questions that are being asked, uh, kind of commonly, Mike? Uh, is there a way to tag multiple people at one time? Okay. Um, Currently, there's not. Uh, part of the reason is because of the way the tagging works. Um, when you're tagging the, a person, you also have it's. There's more than just more than just the fact that this person is in there. You have a comment. You have to choose whether or not it's the primary picture for the person or whether to include it in the scrapbook. So you have this other information that could or would be different for each individual person. So currently there's not a way to select uh, a bunch of people all at once. Uh, it's something we could look at adding, but right now uh, you need to go in and tag each person individually. Okay, I see. Are you able to drag and drop a picture into the media fi file? Uh, I assume they mean media album. Currently uh, there's not a way to do that. Um, Let's see. Are there any other any other common commonly asked questions here? I see quite a few questions. Okay. Yeah, many of them are about pictures in general, and I think they're kind of outside the scope of this webinar. Okay. Um, we do have another webinar specifically on working with pictures. So if you're interested in how to change the primary picture or fixing links, things like that. Okay. Um, one thing about this is, um, actually, there is one thing, one last thing I want to actually, uh, that I actually want to kind of mention. When you are in a media album, just go ahead and let's go into a media album here. When you're in a media album, you notice that there's a couple of options. There's remove media and there's delete tag. Okay, if I want to just remove a picture from this person's album, from William's media album, what I want to do is click on William Knudsen and delete the tag. In other words, I just want to untag him in that album, and that picture will disappear from the album. If you select Remove Media, Roots Magic is going to warn you that this is actually removing the media item itself from the database, and so all the tags will be removed. So in other words, if I want this, media, this picture right here, this census, to not be in Williams, I just need to select William and delete the tag. If I want to remove this from this source and from William and Charles and Joseph and Peter and William and Amelia and Brigham City and William's occupation, 
then I would use remove media and that will actually take the entire picture out and remove all of those tags. So uh, that's, that's kind of an important, um, an important thing to know there. Like I say, if you do click remove media, it is going to warn you that it is going to actually take that picture and all the tags and they're all going to go away. Um, okay, I see a question, and this is actually a good question. Can you add a picture directly from Add New Media, or do you need the gallery? And so basically, if I wanted to go into somebody else and add this 1860 U.S. Census record to somebody else, I could go in and say Add from Gallery and select it right from there. But if I happen to say Add New Media and go to the disk and select it right here, if I select an image that Roots Magic already has in it, it will basically, it will not duplicate the image. It will just create a new tag for that. So it doesn't matter. You can go into Add New Media and select an image that you've already used. You don't have to necessarily know. You know, if you've got a thousand media items in your gallery, you know, and you're not really sure whether you've used it or not, don't worry about it. Just go into Add New Media, add it, and Roots Magic 5 is smart enough to take care of that and make sure that it's not duplicated. Now, back in version 4, it would have duplicated it. So in version 4, uh, if you had added new media and selected a, the same picture and over and over, you would have had that multiple times in the media gallery. Roots Magic 5, you don't need to worry about that. Okay, um, having tags using uh, Windows Photo Editor, uh, those Will those tags still be there, or does Roots Magic 5 strip them out? That's a different kind of tagging. Uh, Roots Magic does not strip that out. Roots Magic uses the picture exactly as you add it. So when you add new media, Roots Magic just links to that picture. So that picture can be in whatever format you want. If it has tagging, if it has any of that attached to it, it stays attached to the picture. Roots Magic does not process that picture or strip anything out or, or modify it. It just uses the, the image as is on the hard drive. Okay, um, let's see. Um, like, like Mike said, it looks like a lot of these pictures are, are more general pictures, so I would encourage you to uh, go take a look at the other webinar we have on, on using multimedia. Uh, in Roots Magic, that was that media that webinar actually was originally based on Roots Magic 4, so it doesn't talk about this tagging, but it does go into more detail on individual picture issues, on you know what types of pictures, what type of what type of um, you know file formats, things like that. So, anyways, I hope uh, I hope that this this uh, webinar. Uh, has, has been helpful. Hopefully you can see that uh, it's much easier to go ahead and tag everything that's in a picture. So instead of having a picture sitting there in one album, even though it has a bunch of people, it has places, it has, you know, source information, you know, uh, the various things, I will point this out, these are the kinds of tags you can have. You can tag with a person, with a family, with an event, with a source, with a citation, so you can go at the source level or the citation level, with a place or a place detail, or with a name. So if you have an alternate name for somebody, you know, if you've got a document that shows uh, this person's uh, name change, you can actually tag that to the name record itself, to the name, the alternate name itself. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, good luck with all your, all your media work. Thanks for joining us.